So you hold the American record for time and space, and you've had been the world record holder also for women. When we both f first started getting interested in space, there weren't even women astronauts, and yet we've made progress, huge progress. So last week, very famously, we had um, two women for the first time doing a spacewalk together. You've done 10 spacewalks. But Kathy Sullivan first walked in space, the first American to walk in space, was in 1984. 2019, we finally get two women out here, there. It, so it's progress, but to me, it's quite frustrating. And how do you think we're doing? What are the roadblocks still in front of us? And how do we get past them? Well, uh, the biggest roadblock, I think, having been on those selection boards where we're trying to find more and more women. So when I first joined the office, astronaut office in 1996, there were 20% were women. And now, uh, this year, there's 34% are women. So it's getting better. Um, but the reason it took so long to have uh, two women do, do a spacewalk largely had to do with two women flying together, because that doesn't happen very often. On my, first, uh, my second expedition, where I was the female commander, that was when Pam Melroy uh, was the shuttle commander, and she arrived at the space station. It was the first time we'd had two female commanders on orbit at the same time. And, it, you know, the press made a big deal of it. And I'm, I loved it because, it, not because of the attention, but because it was a coincidence. It was, it was nothing planned. Her flight was supposed to launch before my, I was ever going to be there, and it just happened to be a coincidence. And to me, that made it more special because this is just going to happen in the future. We just have to keep plugging our way. But the thing that we need to do is to promote uh, our young women uh, in school. And, you know, being, being a nerd is cool. It really is. And we need them to understand it really is cool and, and stay and stick with the science fields because they studies show they're interested and then they leave it later on. And so we need to really promote and support that science uh, interest in our, in our young women. And I, and I think that representation thing is really important. For, for example, I mean, it's great that we've had so many women at this point walk in space, but we still have yet to have an African-American woman astronaut ever walk in space. So we still have a ways to go. And so to me, it's that how do you ignite that spark um, in a girl, but then how do you keep her interested? How do you yeah. keep her on the path? Is yeah, I don't have a good solution for that, but I, I think it's really important to go out and show our young people, show our young ladies what's available, what their options are, and, and really try and promote that they, they go for their passion and, and let them know that it, it is okay that they can be a scientist, even if, you know, maybe their other girlfriends think makeup's more important. <laughs> you know, we've got to help promote the fact that science is cool for girls, too. Because when you were out doing your spacewalks, helping to repair the necessary work, as, as we said, the space station's now 20 years old. It's kind of like a house that's got a, yeah. got a lot of <laughs> repair needs. So that's what the astronauts are mostly doing on spacewalks, is actually doing maintenance work on the International Space Station. You were just getting the job done. It didn't matter what... No, what it we, didn't matter. I, it, I never looked at it as being a woman doing this job. I was just doing the job that was required. And, and, you know, when we go uh, back to the moon, that, you know, I, I don't like how they phrase the, the, that we're going to put a woman there. It's, it kind of sounds like <laughs> we had some, have to have somebody put us there as opposed yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. actually having women that actually are well qualified. And we do. We have lots of women uh, who are well qualified. And we were going to be there. And, and it's, I find it just a tad bit insulting that we're putting a woman there. <laughs> yes, we're not putting a woman anywhere. Um, but the thing I love right now is that, that we estimate that the first girl to walk, the first woman to walk on Mars is actually alive right now. And yeah. that's really inspiring yes. to me. Yeah. So tell all your young ladies out there, <laughs> promote it, push it. We need, we need, more, we need more nerds. Exactly. Female nerds. Exactly.